Next question is what is the lowest value of n that allows the g orbital to exist? So we need to know that when we have g orbital, what is the lowest principal quantum number that you can have? So for this we have, we should know a table for this. Alright, so for this we have learned uh, in detail in the chapter that when you have a principal quantum number, n is equal to so much, l value should be equal to this much. Same thing we are going to follow here. Here also, n value and we are going to find out the l value. For l value, the formula is going to be n minus 1. And when l is equal to a certain value, we need to know what orbitals do we have. Alright, so now when n is equal to 1, n always starts with an energy state 1. When n is equal to 1, your value of l is equal to 0. Now, when L is equal to a certain value, there's a table for it. So, we say that when L is 0, the orbital that you have is S. When L is equal to 1, orbital is P. L is equal to 2, orbital is D. And L is equal to 3, orbital is F. This you should know how to write it or how to uh, identify it. So here when L is equal to 0, the orbital here is S. Next is we move to principal quantum number 2. For this you get two values. When N minus 1, you get 1, of course 0. The other one is 1. So when you get for this, you will get for L is equal to 0, you get S orbital. For L is equal to 1, you get P orbital. Then you have N is equal to 3. In this you need to get your values. So you will have 0, 1, 2. So you have 0, 1, 2 here. Now when L is equal to 0 it is S. L is equal to 1 it is P. And L is equal to 2 you have D orbital. Then you move to 4. N is equal to 4 value. In this case you get 4 numbers. 1, 2 and 3. Now when L is equal to 0, you get S. L is equal to 1, you get P. L is equal to 2, you get D. And L is equal to 3, you get F. So, so far we have only reached to S, P, D, F orbitals. We haven't yet reached the G orbital. Let's move to the next state, which is N is equal to 5. Now when N is equal to 5, you need to get 5 more values for L. So L will be 0, 1, 2, 3 and 4. For this respective, let's see, when you move to orbitals, L is equal to 0, S orbital, L is equal to 1, P, L is equal to 2, D, L is equal to 3, F, and L is equal to 4, you get G. So here, when it is 4, the orbital is going to be G. So what is your question here? What is the lowest value of N which will allow G orbital? So what is the lowest value where g orbital actually started? n. Before that we did not get any g orbitals at all. So here you can write that the lowest value of n that allows g orbital is 5. So that is your answer for this question.